Hello and welcome to Introduction to Amazon Web Services. My name is Vladimir Bojkovic. I would like to give you a short overview, a short demo in how to set up an Amazon Virtual Private Cloud. This demo is for Amazon only. So in this demo, what we will do, we will create a base network topology and this will be the foundation for later adding services like Big IP or other services in the network. So this is the foundation. What this base network topology is about is the virtual private cloud itself. So as soon as you create a virtual private cloud, it's a side of block of 10.0.0.0.16. This is the side of block I will use now. And as soon as you create this, the system will create automatically a routing instance that will be responsible for all the routing within this CIDR block. And later on, we will add two subnets. One subnet is um, meant for internal and one should be meant for external. So let's do this. We will go to Amazon itself. This is the dashboard initial and then from here you can select from the networking section the VPC virtual private cloud itself. So you can click it and here you will see that you have already one virtual private cloud enabled. This is the default one from Amazon. We will not work with this. We will create our own. So click here create VPC Give your uh, VPC uh, name, we call it demo VPC. And here is the CIDR block 10.0.0.16 that we would like to create. Okay, so what you see here is now the demo VPC. Compare it to the graphic, you will see this is the blue over here that we see. Okay, let's go back to Amazon. Now, within this block, you can look at the route table, and here you will see that this is the route table for your demo VPC. Okay, so you can just name it. Just give it a name. It's, late. it's easier to refer to it later. Now, let's go and create the subnets. Okay, you see we do not have any subnets. I will create my first one and I will name this external subnet. And I map this to my demo VPC. Great. Now, what I have to do is, I have the name, I have just to type in the IP address from this demo, uh, uh, from this subnet, it's 10.01.0 slash 24. This is as I want to have it. So once this is done, we are here. I will create my internal subnet. And it belongs also to my demo VPC. And my starter block is 10.02.0 slash 24. Okay, great. So we have two subnets. Let's compare it with the drawing. This is what we have here. Now, have you seen this here? This is the routing interfaces from your routing instance to your internal subnet. The router always takes the dot one 
at the end. So it takes 10.0.0.2.1 for the internal and 10.0.0.1 for the external. This is something that you cannot configure. The system will just take it. Okay. So, okay. Now the next step is I would like to make sure that from the external subnet I can access the internet, but the internal subnet should not do this. And you do this while configuring routing tables. So you have two routing tables. One routing table will be for the internal subnet. It will have just the local entry. This is per default. And the external subnet will have additional to the local one default gateway. And this is defined via an instance called Internet Gateway. So this Internet Gateway is something that we have to create, and I will do it right now. And we will then create in the next step the Internet Gateway and the local routing table for the external subnet and for the internal subnet. So let's go. So we will go to the Internet Gateway. You create it. Give it a name, demo VPC Internet Gateway. So once you just create, it's just like an object that is created within VPC. And then you have to attach this object to your VPC. So you have here the options. So yeah, this is the right VPC here. Connect it. Okay, great. Now, let's go uh, back to the routing tables. Here you see that this is the routing table, which is the main one for the demo VPC completely. But I would like to be more precise in my uh, settings. So I say create routing table, demo enter no routing table. And this will be for the demo VPC. So it's just an additional routing table. And I will use this routing table for my internal subnet. So what I do here, I just click on it. And then in the settings of this routing table, I go to subnet associations, click edit. And here I can select my internal subnet. So that means for all traffic leaving the internal subnet out of the VPC, it will be uh, well treated like, um, like the routing here. So that means this routing table will always route within the VPC and there is nothing we can do about this from the routing perspective. If you would like to restrict routing out of this network, you have to use the security settings for network ACLs or security groups. But for the internal uh, subnet, I just created my demo internal routing table with just say, OK, I can stay within my VPC. Now let's do the same for my external routing table. So I can create it here. The same here, we created the external routing table. We go to Submit Associations, click Edit, and I will associate my external subnet with my external routing table. Save. Once this is done, I will look at the routes for this external routing table and here I will see that the destination on target here is predefined but I would like that this routing table that this subnet can also go out to the internet so just click edit I go on the destination and I will put in the default route and on target I will just click on it 
and it will give me the options that I have. And the, the only option I have currently is my internet gateway that I defined before. So just click in save. Okay. Now what I have here defined is the scenario. I have my internal subnet with my routing table that allows me all the routing within the VPC between internal and external subnet. I have my external subnet with my routing table that also allows me the way out of the VPC and it says when I go out of the VPC go over my internet gateway. My devices. Okay. Good. So this is the basic VPC based setup and this setup will be used for later videos. Thank you.